What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Married to Film. I'm Ralph and this is Shamanda. Hey. And right now we're getting ready to start season two of Better Better Call Saul. This one's called Switch. What were you about to say? I have no idea. So season Switch. one Right. Season one ended with uh Jimmy like, hey, I'll never let an opportunity like that go by me again when he had that money and he decided to do the right thing by turning it into the They could have had eight hundred thousand mm. dollars a piece. A piece. Tax free. No nothing, nobody would have ever known mm -hmm. since they claimed they didn't have no money. Mm -hmm. They would have never known that they had them. They wouldn't know. Right. Who's going to know? Yep. His scamming friend Marco passed and said that was the best week of his life. So, let oh, yeah, and, and he uh, went to check on his brother and his brother saw him, but, you know, they didn't interact. So, let's get into this. Oh, don't forget. If you guys want to see the uncut versions of anything we react to and see them before they hit YouTube, subscribe to our Patreon. The link is in the description box. You ready? Yep. Well, let's go. When I'll be back, I'm safe. In town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no. No, 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 no! God damn it! No! Come on. Hey! Hey! Somebody! Yeah, I feel like it was going to close. He can't sign the alarm. He has a different identity. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's all good. Hello, Howard. Hey. Hi. James Miguel? Clifford Maine. Just Jimmy. It's a pleasure to meet you, Clifford. Likewise, we know all about your work on Sandpiper. Well, it's a group effort. I mean, the folks at HHM are just knocking it out of the park. Well, we know the case wouldn't exist without you. Absolutely. Once you get them on your team, you'll know why I call them Charlie Hustle. Jimmy, these are my associates, Brian Archuleta and Aaron Brill. Nice to meet you both. It's great to meet you. I hate to do this, but um, could I borrow Ms. Wexler for a moment, if you will excuse us? <clears throat> Pardon me. What's going on? I just, um, <clears throat> listen, here's the thing. If I take this job, does that mean the two of us? I mean, uh, does it mean, uh, what? what the hell is this? <laughs> If I take this job today with Davis and me, does that mean that you and me, is this, is this gonna happen? One thing has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Nothing at all. No, of course not, why would it? Great. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Listen, I just want to say thank you sincerely for your interest in me. It's an honor to be considered, but at enough. this time, at this time, um, I'm going to have to take myself out of the running. So thanks. Thank you, Howard. Uh, Jimmy. Oh, well, that was quick. Ah. No charge. Help me out here. Did I dream it? Or did I have $1,600,000 on my desk in cash? No one on God's green earth knew we had it. We could have split it 50-50. We could have gone home with $800,000 each, tax-free. Your point being? Why didn't we? I remember you saying something about doing the right thing. You want to know why I didn't take that money? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Me personally, I was hired to do a job. I did it. It's as far as it goes. Yeah. Well, I know what stopped me. And you know what? It's never stopping me again. Oh, 
This better not be that same little dude. Huh? This is I'll be shot. Hey, it's me. Oh my god! <laughs> dude, why? Ooh. He know, that's why he ain't gonna get in the car with you. Mm -mm. It's me. Doing hey, too much. You like it? We're not taking that to the meet. Mm -mm. How are we gonna get there? My car. I'll drive my car. Mm -hmm. Why? This business requires restraint. Mm -hmm. That is the opposite of restraint. But I like it. So? And I'm proud of it. Good. And you'd be proud of it on your own time, but not with me. I'm not getting in there. Okay, then uh, don't. Honestly, you don't really do anything. I've mm. been paying you the same. You're about to die. Three mm -hmm. people that just stand behind me. You know, and, and this, these last few deals, this Nacho fellow, he's been coming alone. I mean, if he doesn't need backup men, then, I mean, why do I need you? Okay. I should just go alone. You're well, I'm, die. Throwing, I'm throwing away money. You're just gonna tossing it away over. into the trash. Into the trash. Look, you do whatever you want, but I'm advising you, do not go to that meet without someone washing your back. Yeah, well, of course you're going to say that. I mean, you don't want to be out of this easy peasy job. Well, I'm sorry, but this is the gravy train, and it's leaving the station right ah! now. So, last chance. All aboard. Boy, bye. Get out of here. <laughs> See ya. Seriously, last chance. I'm going to count to say ten, and then I'm... All right, then. Your services are no longer needed. <laughs> this dumb dumb. Extra. And today he's gonna have people with him. The old guy? What did he break a hip or something? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, no, we uh, we we parted ways. Yeah, saw things differently. So, you know how it is. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh yeah, do you like it? Can I take a look? Oh, be my guest. Get in. <laughs> Check it out. Impressive. Thank you. Get in. Feel the leather. Count your money! Yeah, it's a uh, H2. Brand new off the line. Slimmer than the H2, but longer. Your... More height. Yeah, it's a honey. V8 engine, 325 horsepower. He's not Tri-zone climate controls. Okie dokie. We are good. Uh, same as before, uh, still factory sealed, and as always, you're welcome to count them. I trust you. Great. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Uh, no, sorry. But, yes, this is James McGill, but I'm no longer a lawyer. So. That's right, not a lawyer. Bye. So this is what a midlife crisis looks like? Not midlife crisis. Clarity. Midlife clarity. Clarity. Huh. Clearly explain to me why you walked out on the best job opportunity of your life. Get in the pool and I'll tell you. Get in the pool? Yeah. Come on. Just pop in the gift shop and buy a bathing suit. Get a one piece, nothing fancy. The water is perfect. It's 82 degrees. You can order a drink and you gotta try this crap. Why are you acting like this? I'm <laughs> not acting like anything. I just finally decided to be me. Everything okay, Mr. Cupson? Would you like another drink? Mm. Mr. Who? Cupson. Oh, I'm good with this. I'll tell you what, Mr. Cumston. If you really want to talk, I'll be in the bar. Not for long. What do you mean quit the law? I quit it. Simple as that. Oh, well. Thanks for explaining, Jimmy. It's super painful. Hey, buddy. Uh, is that a misprint right there? It's got to be, right? This appear on Yale? Yeah, that's correct, actually. <laughs> Holy shit, a $50 shot of tequila? Is it worth it? Apparently. I think it's kind of a personal choice kind of thing. Well, I can't die without trying a $50 shot of tequila, so, uh, two dose. Neat. And uh, we can charge that to the room, can't we? No, we can't. We... I'm paying. And he will be having a shot of your well brand, and I'll have a glass of your house ready. Mm -hmm. We have a Cabernet, a Pinot, and a Syrah. Whatever. Dealer's choice. Something with alcohol. You got it. <laughs> did something happen in Cicero? Why did something have to happen in Cicero? Because 
When I talked to you about Davis and Maine, you were ready to take the job. Now you're back and you're suddenly quitting the mall? Cheating hotels out of expensive liquor? Wearing a weird pinky ring? What are you, in the mafia now? Mm -hmm. Asking if we have a future? Where did that come from? Well, Cicero has nothing to do with it. It's my whole life. Well, my life since Chuck made me come to Albuquerque. Ever since I got here, all I've done is try to make Chuck happy. Bend over backwards to please Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Well, no more. <laughs>